Hello again, this is James with Geek Pro Technology Services at geekpro.com, G W -E E K P R O.com. And uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial about um, resizing multiple images using Photoshop CS5. I've got a lot of my customers who go out and shoot a lot of uh, images, take pictures with their cameras or their phones and they um, usually have these images and they're uh, really big and they're really high resolution and they don't make for easy transport or posting to the web or emailing and so they're not very portable so in most cases um, people will attach um, really big oversized images to their emails and that creates a problem because the file sizes are usually too big and so this tutorial is going to show you how to take a folder full of images and resize them down to a more manageable size. Okay, so the first thing you want to do um, in Photoshop CS5, and I'm running the 64-bit edition on my Windows 7 machine, um, so what you want to do is, is go up to File, and you'll notice here that there is Automate and Scripts. We're looking for Scripts, and we're going to go over here to the Image Processor okay that's going to open up the image processor window and the first thing we want to do under step one is select the images to process and so basically this is going to depend on where your images are located on your computer um, if you have them on your phone hopefully you've imported them and brought them over to your machine uh, you may have that phone connected via USB and if so you'll just want to navigate to the photos folder on your device um, in my case, the images are on my desktop, and so um, if I go here and click Select Folder, I can choose the folder that I want, and on my desktop I have a folder named TIFF, and that's where I have um, a few hundred images saved, and they're in TIFF format. Um, yours are probably going to be JPEGs, and they're probably going to be in JPEG format. Once again, it just depends on where your images are. If you have them on your phone or you have them on your um, camera, then you probably already know how to get those onto your computer. So once they're on your computer, you just want to navigate to that folder where those images are at. Okay, so I'm going to say okay to that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to step two and you're going to select a folder where you're going to output those images. Um, and in my case, I have created another folder on the desktop that's called Resized. And so if you hit Select Folder, um, you have the option down here to make a new folder. So if you don't already have one, you can make a new folder and give it a name and make sure that it's selected here. Um, so um, in my case, I have it going to a resized folder and I'm going to say OK on that okay so this is where we're at now we're down to step three and in step three I'm gonna save these as a JPEG and um, I'm gonna resize those now you want probably the highest quality so I stick with 12 uh, you can change that and bring that down to 8 um, if you need to um, but I just usually like to save them at the best quality possible okay then when you hit resize to fit and you have that checked um, you want to put in something like this 800 by 600 is usually a good uh, size for emailing or posting to the web um, however you can change those numbers if you have a custom size that you want to use and you can also save them as PSDs or save them as TIFFs and in my case I'm just going to leave them selected as JPEGs and I'm going to make sure they're set to resize with a quality of 12 and that's probably what you're going to want to stick with as well and then down here at the bottom under step 4 um, we want to make sure that run action is unchecked there's some different actions that can be selected here um, that will modify the images with some effects like frames and shadows and those types of things but we probably want to stay away from that at this point so make sure that run action is unchecked and then uh, include the ICC pro profile is fine you can leave that checked as well and that's going to just import um, and keep the color information and the information from the camera or the device that you used uh, when you took the photos. So you probably want to keep that in there as well. Okay, so at this point all we have to do is hit run and this is going to run through resizing a series of images that have been contained in my folder 
that I selected here in step one. And then it's going to output those to the folder I selected in step two. Okay, so we're ready to go. We'll just hit run. And these images are actually a series of uh, photographs of artwork uh, for a website that I designed for uh, uh, one of my clients in San Diego. And uh, you can go out and check out his website if you want to um, at delroseart.com. And that's D E L R O S E A R T.com. And I put that website together for him, and he's got a real nice gallery uh, with all these photos in it. And these are actually um, high resolution pictures that were taken of his artwork that he created. So if you're interested in that, um, head out there and take a look at delroseart.com. Okay, so you'll notice that this is going to buzz through these. It takes a little bit of time depending on how fast your machine is, um, but it's actually doing all the work for us so that we don't have to resize uh, every image one at a time. And that's great news, and that's going to save us a lot of time. And I know that's why people watch these tutorials, because they want to get right to it and figure out how to do something and just get it done, and they don't want to waste a bunch of time. So I'm hoping that my tutorials are very helpful for you, and um, I'm hoping that you can go out to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, if you need to get out to my YouTube channel, you can go to my website at geekpro.com, G-E-E-K-P-R-O.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a link for tutorials, um, and there's also a button in the upper right hand corner for my YouTube channel, the little YouTube logo, so you can click on that as well. Please head out there and take a look at my other tutorials, and um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any other suggestions for tutorials, you can always email those to me through my website as well. Okay, so this looks like it's buzzing through these images and um, it is saving us a massive amount of time because if we had to do these one by one, uh, we would probably be here for a week doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and let this just buzz through these images. Um, there should be a few more. I think this folder had about 100, 120 images in it. Um, you may be working with a folder that has um, thousands of images in it and at this point you could just walk away and get yourself a cup of coffee and come back later um, and that's usually what I recommend just let the thing do its work and it depends also on the speed of your computer um, I'm dealing with a an i7 processor I've got 12 gigs of RAM in this machine and uh, it seems to handle these types of tasks uh, relatively easily Okay, so it looks like it's finished, and at this point, uh, we can just go ahead and minimize uh, the Photoshop here. And then on the desktop, you'll notice there's my folder resized, and I'm going to head and I'm going to go ahead and double-click that. And then inside that, you're going to see a folder called JPEG, and there's all of our images, and they've all been resized. And if you click on one and highlight it in Windows 7, you'll notice down here it's going to have the dimensions, and basically. Um, it has shrunk that down to a more manageable size and um, the actual file size is now uh, a more easily portable file size at 364 kilobytes which means that you can post that to your uh, uh, website, your blog, uh, social media site uh, you can attach that to an email and send that out to your friends and it's going to be a lot easier for them to download it it's going to be a lot easier for you to send it uh, because most of the images that come right off of your camera or your phone are going to be uh, super high quality. They're going to be uh, probably, you know, in the range of 2,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels and up in size. And that makes for a very unmanageable uh, photograph when you go to start emailing it or posting it on the web. Uh, the file size is just really big and it doesn't need to be. So if you right click on this image and you hit preview, um, you'll be able to see basically at 100% this is where we are and that's a more manageable photo. If you don't resize your images and you send them to somebody right from your camera and they're 3,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels, uh, the recipient on the other end is probably going to see something like this. Um, a photo that's 
so huge and unmanageable that they don't really know what to do with it. So that's why um, I've created this tutorial so that you will be able to resize your images and um, make everybody's life a little bit more simple. Alright, well I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it's helped you and like I said if you can go out to my uh, YouTube channel and subscribe that would be wonderful. Just head on over to geekpro.com and look for the tutorials link or the YouTube icon in the upper right hand corner. Alrighty, and we'll see you next time.